Hey, what's up guys, Chad here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the impact mouth guard. Now, before we jump too far into the video, I just wanna say I appreciate all the support everyone's given me. Since the last time we spoke, um, I've passed 2,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate that. So this year, we've gone from 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. It'd be great if I could hit 3,000 by the end of the year. I know that's a lofty goal, but it would be great if I could hit 3,000. So let's talk about this impact mouth guard. So the way I've broken this video down is this part right here, which is real time, well, as real time as you can get. Um, you'll see this probably on Tuesday. Um, but then after this part, all right, this part's gonna be me talking about how I like the impact, how I like the mouth guard. It's gonna be talking about fit form, function, cost, okay? These are the four things I wanna go over in regards to this mouth guard. The second thing I wanna talk about is if I would recommend it. The third thing I'm gonna talk about is, um, and that's gonna go into the video after this, which is me recording the instructions, basically going through the instructions, showing you how I had to met, how I had to take impressions. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know that when I buy a product, especially a product like this, that might be on the higher end of the spectrum in regards to mouth guards, I like to know a lot about the product. So I typically would want to see what comes after um, this, right? I'd wanna know everything about the product before I bought it. Here's the thing though. I don't want you to take this video as an instructional, Impact has great instructional videos on their website. So you need to go over there, look at their website to check out the instructions for the mouth guard. I simply included it in this video because I wanted to give you all an understanding of how the process is, a basic understanding of how the process is, and if I like the product and if I would recommend it. Now to help with that, to help you sort of navigate that, I'm gonna include timestamps in the description below. So if you go down below, you'll see some timestamps there. And I want you to pay particular uh, attention to one of the timestamps that says dentist, because one incident that I ran into, it's not really a problem with impact. It was something that I, I was just curious about. So I had a, an appointment with the dentist and I went in there and I asked him about this product and I showed them the box and everything. So that might interest you. You might want to check that timestamp out below. Now let's talk about time frame. And it, from the time they sent me the product, me taking the impressions and sending it back off and then getting my mouth guard back took approximately two weeks. So that's basically me take, you know, let's say they sent me the mouth guard. I open it up. I take my impressions, which doesn't take very long. It's a very simple process. Watch the rest of the video. You'll figure that part out. They make it really simple to send it off. They give you everything you need, the package, the, the label, everything. You send it off, uh, USPS, and then they stay in contact with you through email. So they'll say, hey, we received it. And then when it leaves their facility, they say, hey, we just shipped it off. And so you'll know when to expect it. And from the process of me taking my impressions, sending it off and getting it back was approximately 14 days total, including weekends. So first of all, I do have to give a lot of kudos to uh, Impact for sending me the mouth guard. They agreed to send it to me. I reached out to them. They said, yeah, we'll send you one. And I said, listen, I'll do a review on it, but I'm going to do an honest review, whether I like it or not. So, you know, if you, if you want to do that, I'm happy to do it. If not, I totally understand. They sent me the product, so they must believe in it. So here, here's the mouth guard. Now they sent me the one with the basic, just the uh, impact on the front, just the basic mouth guard. It's not anything that's rigid. I mean, some mouth guards are really rigid. Basically, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to talk with this um, so you can kind of get an understanding of how it would be if you were in class and rolling around. So this is what it looks like. There is some, I mean, obviously I can talk with it. It's not the best thing in the world to talk with, but you can certainly um, have a conversation, ask a question in class if you need to ask a question. So it's pretty firm. It's a pretty good fit. I mean, I like it. Breathe. You can absolutely breathe with it. It's not hard to get in and out. Some of the some mouth guards, and I'm sorry if I'm veering off and looking at my screen over here because I'm trying to get a make sure I'm staying in frame. But some mouth guards, you know, that are really form fitting, like the ones you get from the dentist, sometimes if you have them in, they're great. Don't get me wrong, they're great. They're three or four hundred dollars, but it's hard to get them out. This one, I can pop out with my tongue, but it doesn't come out on its own. So let's talk about um, the function of it, right? So that's the fit, sort of the form. Now let's talk about the function. Um, and I wanna talk about two things, breathing and talking. I kinda of covered it a little bit, but yeah, so you can breathe and talk with this in while rolling. Um, you don't need to keep taking it out and, and, and moving it around. I'm rough on these, like I do wanna talk about durability. I'm really rough on mouth guards. Um, a lot of nervous energy when I'm in class, so in between um, technique, in between rolling sessions, I'll, I'll chew on my mouth guards. Probably a gross thing to say, but I do. They never last. I usually go about through about three mouth guards a year. And this one is, is uh, so I've been rolling this thing for a month. I haven't treated it any differently. In fact, sometimes I forget about it. And uh, yeah, I'll chew on it. And you cannot tell I've done any of that. I mean, I don't really see any wear on it. 
So, and I've looked for it. So anyway, there, there's this, it's, it's pliable, it's soft, it's not rigid in your mouth, like a lot of mouth guards. It's not big, so you're, you know, trying to die in, trying to ga gasp for air because the mouth guard's blocking your airways. It fits in. High up. And um, yeah, it fits great. It doesn't, there's just not a lot of problems with it. Um, I can tell you that it's a good product. I, I, I wouldn't have any problems purchasing this. I may even go on their website and see if I can find um, maybe another one that I like. They have a lot of different designs on their website. So that's also something that was very interesting to see all the different designs. It almost looks like your teeth in your mouth. If it didn't have impact across it, it almost looks like you had some funky, really white, strange looking teeth. So that is the function. Let's talk about cost. So you can catch sales on some of their basic mouth guards, but if you want one like stripes, stars, anything, any of some of their any of their sort of specialized mouth guards, it's gonna run you about 59 bucks. I do have some upsells in there as well. So if you like one speedy two day lab service, that's gonna run you a little bit extra. They'll trim it for gag reflex. That's a, it's really cheap for that, but they will do that. They can add jersey numbers, it even give you an additional guard with you know a big discount. So they have a lot of options that, uh, that over on their website. The great thing is they've included a 10% discount code for all of my subscribers. So if you go down in the description below, there's a coupon code down there and um, you can just click on that. It'll take you over to the website. You can buy a mouth guard and you'll get 10% off of your order. Now, full disclosure, um, I do get a bit of affiliate commission off of that, by the way. If I didn't recommend this product, I would not include it in the description below. Um, I would just delete it. I think it's a great product. I wouldn't have any issues buying one. In fact, I'm probably gonna go up there and buy um, some of the other uh, like flags and things they have up there. I'm definitely gonna look at some of the other ones that they have and probably purchase uh, one or two more of these because they're such good products and I, I like them. And, I'm, and I, the only reason I would purchase more than one is because you get a big discount on the second one you order at the same time and um, it's nice to have some different variations. So anyway, that's the product. That's what I think about it. Fit, form, function, and cost. Now the video is gonna go into the instructional part. Again, timestamps down below if you wanna see those. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. First of all, let me apologize for the echo. I'm in my bathroom and bathrooms have echoes. I apologize for that, but uh, this is where I need to do the mouth guard review that we talked about, impact. Maybe you saw me either talk about it in a previous video um, either there or you saw me post it on my Instagram account. This impact mouth guard was designed to be a form-fitting mouth guard. And I'm not gonna get into all that now um, because I'm gonna talk about that when I get the mouth guard back because there's something you need to do. You need to take impressions in your own mouth using the uh, supplies that they've given you. So first of all, let's talk about the instructions. They're very clear, they give you really good, clear instructions on what you're supposed to do uh, with this mouth guard, obviously, because this is a very uh, serious situation, right? You wanna make sure you're taking the right impressions, you're using the right mouth um, fitting that they give you, and you're mixing the supplies that they give you properly because you, you, know, you only have a couple of shots of this, you don't wanna mess it up. So they just supply a little bit of extra in the package, but you don't want to mess up, right? So the first thing they say is, step one, uh, grab a stopwatch and timer and prepare a clean service in front of a mirror uh, and write your name clearly on the bag. So they give you a bag in there that you're gonna be putting all this con these contents back into, which I have the bag here. I've cleaned the surface here in front of my mirror in my bathroom. And so I've done all that for step one. Now step two is try on mouth guard trays. So they give you these three mouth guard trays um, and then you're supposed to select one that captures all of your teeth and, and leave just a little bit of wiggle room on either side. And your top lip should be able to come over uh, the front of the tray as in picture one. I'm gonna start from the smallest size. I already know which one I'm supposed to wear because I've already kind of fitted, but I wanna show you how it works. So that, here's the smallest one. When you put it in your mouth, it's supposed to have some wiggle room um, and it should cover all of your teeth as per the instructions. So if I put this in my mouth, my lip goes over, as indicated, is correctly, but it's too small. Like my back teeth are not captured in this. This is like maybe something for a kid or some other really small mouth, um, perhaps a female, that's smaller female, or maybe even a smaller male, I don't know. But this doesn't fit me. Now let's go to the largest size. I'm gonna put this in, so. I, I can't get my lip over the front. It's just, it's way too big. So this is the smallest. This is the biggest side by side. You can see the difference, right? Now let's look at the one that does fit me. This is the one in the middle. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. It's it. It's a perfect fit. It's um, my, all my teeth are covered. I have a little wiggle room, and my lip, my top lip goes over the front of this. Now, granted, you know your mouth guard is going to fit way snugger than this, right? It's going to be custom fit. Just not to mix things up, I'll take the two sizes that don't fit me 
and I'll go ahead and slip them into the provided bag because I know I'm not going to use it. Now we're on step three, all right? We have the tray, we have the putty out to mix, but this is where it gets real. So here's what it says. Um, putty begins hardening as soon as you start mixing. So move quickly through steps four, five, and six to get the material into your mouth. Now mix one packet of dark and one packet of white putty. That's these, they call these packets. Now they gave me two of these. I guess in case I mess up, but you have to. Now you wanna mix these up until it's uniform in color with no streaking of white. So you basically want this thing to have like a blue, um, it, it should be blue and it should be no streaking of white once you mix these together. Now you wanna roll the material into a short tubular cigar uh, shape that is thicker in the middle, pictures in um, three and four, and you want it to be thicker in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, but after that, let's, let's read four, five, and six to make sure I move fast. Step four says, lay the putty into the tray. This is the tray. Push most of the putty to the outside of the tray and ensure that there is a peak of putty in the front of the tray pictured in um, five. Got it. Step five, in front of the mirror, insert the tray with the putty all the way into your mouth and make sure the top lip is over the front of the tray. Got it. Bring top teeth down into center of the peak of putty and push up evenly with thumbs. And it says that the uh, you want to make sure that it's fully pushed up so that the putty gushes up into the top lip. And you want a deep impression. A deep impression is a good impression. And once the tray is pushed up, do not move it for about two minutes and 30 seconds. Or do not move it for two minutes and 30 seconds. And then step six, once Two minutes and 30 seconds has elapsed. Gently rock up and down uh, with an up and down motion. The tray loose from your teeth, rinse in cold water. Your impression should look similar to the one picture in step seven and eight, okay? Um, so that's what I'm about to do. Um, my hands have been washed already, but I did touch the tray and stuff, so I'm gonna wash them again, make sure everything's clean. Um, I'm gonna take my bottle of water, which is nice and cold. I'm gonna pour it into a glass. So I'll have, I can dip it down into the cold water, which will um, firm up the putty. It's, it shouldn't go without noting that the reason, it, there, there's some time lapse uh, between when I got the package and now. Because I went to the dentist and I showed the dentist, I had a feeling come out. I mean, perfect timing, right? And it's on the side though. And I, so I was asking my dentist, you know, is this going to cause an issue? And, and, you know, and I actually wanted to just talk to, to him about this type of product. You know, is this thing legit? You know, what is this? And you know, he said it's, it's legit, and there's a lot of companies that do this, um, although he said this does look pretty good, like a pretty nice package. He's seen the same stuff he uses. He goes, but there's a loophole in the law. So basically, um, so a company can't go set up across the street from the dentist and say, hey, we can take impressions, um, come on in. Um, it's illegal for them to do that, right? But it's not illegal to allow them to take your own impressions, and that's sort of the loophole that fits in with this type of product like Impact. Impact has uh, taken advantage of that loophole and said, listen, we are going to let you take your own impressions. It seems to be safe. And I asked my dentist, I said, does this look safe um, based off, you know, dental work? I have, you know, fillings and things like that. And he goes, yeah, you know, just push it up in there. It should be fine. He goes, I can't guarantee it, but based off what I'm seeing, it looks like a solid product. He looked through the package and everything. It looks like the stuff I use. As long as you read the instructions and rock it in and out like they're asking you to, you should be fine. That's what my dentist said. Um, again, not guaranteeing anything, and I'm not telling you to do it, and I'm not guaranteeing anything to you. I'm just telling you this is what was told to me, and this is what I'm doing, and it's allowed, right? It's allowed. This is a, an allowed product based off that loophole. So I have my um, timer set here for two minutes and 30 seconds on my iPhone. So it's all set up. I have everything clean. I have my water, my glass here, so I can just dip it down in the water once I take the impression. I have my tray here. So now the only thing, oh, and the other thing I would say is, Brush your teeth. So I have an electric toothbrush, just I wouldn't do it with any type of toothpaste. I would just do it with just regular water um, just to get all the, the stuff off your teeth to get a good clean impression without having toothpaste left over in your mouth that might get mixed in with the impression. You don't want that. So they didn't say to do this in the instructions. It's just probably good practice and that's what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to do it. It's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna give it a good once over, make sure everything's clean, rinse it out with you know clean water and then just um, not like dirty water, and then just uh, take the impression. So that's what we're gonna do next. <clears throat> okay, so here, here it is, step one. I'm gonna mix these up until they're uniform in color. Pop the top off here of the first one. Pop the top off of the second one. Dump this out into my hand here. As long as they're not touching, I should be fairly good because you know obviously the chemical reaction is not gonna happen until they start um, contacting one another. So it's just like putty. I mean, it feels just like putty or Play-Doh. So now I'm gonna mix them up until there's no streaking. Here we go. Kind of mix it up in a ball here. 
Tom, remember, time is of the essence on this part. So I'm just gonna sit here and mix it in like this with a hand so you can see it. A lot of in there still, so keep going. And okay, it looks pretty good. Looks like it's gotten pretty good consistency here. Just like Play-Doh, man. And get that cigar shape they're talking about, right? A little thicker in the middle though. Because remember, you gotta press it around. So there it is, that's what it should look like. Now I'm just gonna press it around the tray. Like this. With the thicker part up front. You see how I did that? The thicker part is in the front. Turn on my clock here, and I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna have to use my mirror for this. Hey, what's up guys, Chad here. I just wanna tell you that I did uh, mute this part because it sounded kinda of gross with me trying to fit this thing in the roof of my mouth. Um, but anyway, I didn't wanna subject you to that because I like you guys. If I didn't like you, I'd, I would leave it in there. But anyway, uh, yeah, appreciate you sticking around this song. But I wanted to let you know that that's why this part's muted and you don't hear anything. But the sound will be back in just a moment. Okay, so <clears throat> I had to pour the water over to get it to cool down, um, and it's much firmer now. That's what the impression looks like for my teeth. I think it looks pretty similar to right there, whoops, right there, which is what they say it should look like. I think it's a good impression. I'm really curious to see how this turns out. Now, once you're done with this, it says to place, um, now you do have an option if you want. There's an option number seven, which if you wanna take a picture um, of the impression and then, and then send that picture to them so they can look at it first, um, they'll do that. I, I think we're good here. It looks pretty similar to the picture. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and go to step um, eight, which is place the bag with completed impressions and any used unused materials uh, back into the box it came with and uh, return back to impact. They're gonna craft a guard within 10 to 14 business days after receipt of a good impression. So I am gonna put everything back into the bag. So I have my, the, the two trays I didn't use and I'm gonna just place this in the bag. Ooh, I mean, I rinsed it off, so. Two that I did not use in the bag. And seal it up and I'm gonna send this to impact and hopefully get my uh, my impressions back in the next couple of weeks. Here it is guys, it is officially back. So let's see what's in the box. All right, uh, this is what they ship you back. It comes with your care instructions. And guard. So you gotta care for it, just keep it smelling good. Yeah. And then here's the actual moth guard itself. I'm gonna pop this open. There it is. Only thing to do is try it out. Roll with it for a while. Mm -hmm. 